Central Florida is known as the home of Mickey Mouse, but local residents remember a quieter time before Disney sparked the tourist boom. We're here at Lake Silver in Winter Haven for an exciting event that started in 2012, but it's been around for several decades. Cypress Gardens, which opened in 1939, which is known for its beautiful gardens, Southern Bells, and it is now known as the water ski capital of the world. Over 50 world records were broken here, and water skiing was a primary source of entertainment for soldiers during World War II. Now, the Cypress Gardens water ski team is passing down their legacy to the next generation. On the third Saturday of every month, visitors are thrilled by the skills on display, from barefooters to tricks off the ramps, to spectacular four-tier human pyramids. They also get to see a familiar face from the past, as Marty McFly and Doc Brown come back to the future for a visit. Don't forget to bring a blanket or lawn chair for seating, and bring an appetite as well, so you can enjoy burgers and hot dogs during the performance. Melanie, did you know that most of this team's age ranges from 40s and 60s? They're using their experience to help develop the next generation of young entertainers through the Club WIT, which stands for Work in Progress. That's great, but you won't find me anywhere near the water. I'll be enjoying the show from solid ground. And you can enjoy the next show on Saturday, February 15th. By the way, it's a free experience. If any of you guys out there are looking for a cheap date. We have a four day weekend coming up. So if you want to come on down, there'll be a free show at 3.30 and the regular show starts at 4.30. Now I'm going to get Melanie out on this dock and use some peer pressure to get her to try this. Signing off for h and I'm Melanie. And I'm Bree. Good morning, Hornet Nation. I'm Bree. And I'm Melanie. Bree, it really is the most wonderful time of the year. I love how a fully trimmed Christmas tree makes me feel. I feel fortunate for all that I have, but realize not everyone is so lucky. Want to make a difference this holiday season? How about Hornet Nation all pitch in? Payne City High is participating in Toys for Tots. They are in need for toys, books, and stocking stuffers to help those underprivileged children in Polk County. Drop-off boxes are located in the front office and in Mrs. Tice's class, Building 1, Room 102. Feel how great it is to be on the giving end of someone in need. Speaking of needs, Melanie, I'm badly in need of passing my pert math. I'm beyond tired of taking that test. What would you recommend? It sounds like you need some help from our math tutors. Do you have transportation on Mondays and Wednesdays? Actually, I drive, so I'll be able to stay after school from 2.30 to 3.30 in Miss Turner's room to get help with Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and Geometry, plus that dreaded PERT. It sounds like my New Year's resolution is to get out of tutoring and put the PERT behind me. Let's find out what Hornet Nation has decided to change as we roll into 2020. 2020. Downtown Celebration is such a beautiful place to visit, and it feels nothing like a corporate mouse ears metropolis. Speaking of giant monopolies, you can get away from the Walmarts and Starbucks of the world down here. There are many different cafes and shops that actually contain a soul. There are plenty of great dining options down here, such as the Town Tavern, with its American flair, specializing in seafood, or the Columbia Restaurant, where you can spice it up with some Cuban flair. But personally, I choose Ari's, which has some fine Japanese cuisine. Sushi is supposed to be great for the memory. You should hit it up before you take the PERT test. You know, Melanie, after all that talk about food, I am a bit hungry. I could really use a huge bowl of cereal right now. Well, you're in luck because Mr. Bentley's students just finished their contest to crown this semester's cereal box design champion. Let's check in with h and reporter Madison to find out who won the coveted banana trophies. After all that shopping and dining, it feels great to sit back and relax while overlooking the lake here in downtown. This spot really offers a breathtaking view, and you can even fish here at one of the docks, but be very careful, there are live gators. <laughs> the view across the lake into the event center truly is spectacular, and when live music plays, sitting across the bench provides a romantic backdrop. Mr. Bell recommends this spot as the place to fall in love. Ew, yuck! While this may be a peaceful spot, you may have noticed we've gone under a few lockdown procedures. Now it's very important that Hornet Nation stays safe and composed during an emergency. 
Now you know what to do during a lockdown. They say knowing is half the battle. One of the biggest battles of this year has been with getting the senior video produced. As of today, we have a total of zero pictures and shout outs to be included. Seniors, if you want a video this year, you need to make it happen. Miss Tate will provide you with the information again on Facebook and at the next meeting. Melanie, aren't you a senior? Shouldn't you be taking the leadership role in this? Uh, I think I hear Santa's sleigh bells jingling. It's time to say goodbye. For h and I'm Melanie. And I'm Bree. Have a safe and happy break. Whoa, Melanie, you look so fancy. What's the occasion? I'm getting mentally ready for the prom next month. Since the theme this year is Greek gods and goddesses, I want to make sure I dress to impress those deities. Well, what am I supposed to do? Money's a little tight, and I don't want to get struck down by a lightning bolt for being underdressed. Well, you're in luck. I've been hanging with Aphrodite, and she gave me a little bit of her power. For those of you who aren't friends with one of the Pantheon, you can see Miss Hammett in Building 20, Room 113 for a free prom dress. This will be Mondays and Tuesdays after school, but please schedule a time via email and don't come during class time or you will face the wrath of the almighty Daddy Lane. As far as what types of dresses and suits you should wear, make sure it's extremely formal. Absolutely no jeans are allowed. We recommend renting a tux for the boys, but if that's too much, at least wear a suit. All dresses must be appropriate style and length. This means no excessive stomach or back exposed. We understand a bit of stylish flesh, but keep it tasteful. This isn't a music video shoot. So Brie, how exactly do you get your ticket? This week, tickets were on sale for an early bird special price. And today is the last day to get them for $55. It is important to understand that Monday, they will be $80 per person. And this includes an appetizer style dinner as well. Tickets will be sold during both lunches until March 20th, so don't wait too much longer. Don't bring 50 or $100 bills, and bring exact change. Also, make sure to check your obligations before buying. You won't be able to come if you owe anything to Polk County. So Melanie, who's gonna be your hot date? Apollo, Poseidon? Ew, no, they're way too ancient for me. In fact, your date can't be older than 20, and they can't be in middle school or lower either. Ninth and 10th graders are welcome to come, but they will need to fill out a form. And these forms are available at the ticket sales booth. If you plan on bringing someone from outside the school, they will need to fill out a form and provide a copy of their ID. Mark your calendars, April 18th at 7 p.m. Have the time of your life at their reunion resort in Kissimmee. If you want to be chosen for prom court, you will need to be nominated by April 1st. There are five criteria to be a part of the court. Please see the form available in Ms. Hammett's room. And if selected, the $20 fee will be due Friday, April 10th. And don't wait to purchase your ticket. After March 20th, you will need to make your parents' basement fancy if you want to be the belle of the ball. Signing off for h and I'm Melanie. And I'm Bree. I'll try not to break my Achilles heel. Good morning, Hornet Nation. I'm Melanie. And I'm Bree. And we are here in location at Poinciana Liberty High School, about to watch a live action show of Frozen. Speaking of Frozen, Melanie, I'm melting out here. Let's go inside. Okay, Olaf, didn't you want to be in summer? Super Kids Sports Center is a company that allows you to delve into karate, gymnastics, or dance. Frozen is their end of year performance featuring students from ages 3 to 21. Each class will be representing a different song from the animated film. Now, I don't know much about karate, but I know a lot about crazy. Let it go, Melanie. Let's go watch the show. Okay. Dynamic Dance Studio isn't just a name. It's a way of life. Many of these performers have faced different challenges, including learning disabilities. But that hasn't stopped them at performing at such a high level including going on to compete at the Special Olympics. This is awkward. Uh, Excuse me, favor and grab her chest, grab her chest. Don't forget, if you want to improve your flexibility or your performance arts, check out Super Kids Sports Center in Kissimmee. But for now, we are the best seats in the house, so we're going to sit back and watch the show. 
Signing off, I'm Bree. And I'm Melanie. Hey Bree, who's that funky looking donkey over there? Oh, it's just our cameraman, Kevin. Good morning, Hornet Nation. I'm Bree. And I'm Melanie. Have you thought about electives for next year but can't decide? Well, we have a list of classes that might help you choose what's right for you. Haines City High School offers more than a handful of electives that can get yourself engaged while learning a new skill to make your high school experience all the more fun. Want to be active and join the military? Become a cadet and join JROTC. There are no requirements besides patriotism. If ROTC isn't for you, you can take leadership development instead. To help you prepare for the future. Ever wondered what it's like to be behind the camera? ITV offers the place where you can be your own producer and create weekly videos to showcase your creativity. If being in the spotlight isn't for you, Hain City offers classes such as 2D art, ceramics, and digital art, which allow you to put your talent out there and build your skills to become a better artist. If you have a passion for performing, Acting 1 might be the right elective for you. After you've taken Acting 1, you can proceed into Acting 2, 3, and 4. We know that not everyone can be Shakespeare, so there's also a tech class where you can design sets and props for classes and after school activities. Ukutula. Ukutula. Wow, are you a singer? Well, kind of, but I still need to work on my skills. Well, don't worry. You can join Beginning Choir to build the foundations of a good choral singer. But what if I want to continue on in chorus? You can then move to Intermediate or Advanced Choir. For those entering the field of early childhood development, there's an informative class on campus where you will learn everything from the legalities of DCF policies to real world experience. Are you interested in animals or speaking competitions? Well, if you are, AgriScience Foundations is the perfect fit for you. All it takes is one year of being in an agri-science class and then you can join aquaculture or animal sciences. With so many options, we understand how difficult it may be to choose an elective. Hopefully, you now have more insight on how you plan on spending your high school career.